Hi, my name is David Bolt and I'm a solutions architect for Amazon Web Services. And in this video, I'll show you how to debug a Python Greengrass component. AWS IoT Greengrass is an Internet of Things open source edge runtime and cloud service that helps you build, deploy and manage device software. Greengrass does this by extending AWS services onto your devices. So they can act locally on the data they generate while still taking advantage of the cloud. To act locally, you can develop your own components. In this video, I cover how to debug your Python Greengrass component using a remote debugger. I use an EC2 instance with the Greengrass client software installed to simulate an IoT device. The Python application runs as Greengrass component and will publish MQTT messages to AWS IoT Core. The component uses the credentials provided by the Greengrass client software. I will show you how to build the component, deploy it locally, and the configuration settings for the remote debugger. Here I have Visual Studio Code, which is connected via SSH to an EC2 instance. The EC2 instance runs Ubuntu and has Greengrass installed. I used the Greengrass development kit to build the component. Therefore, in the gdk-config.json, I define the details of the component, like name, author, version, and build system, as well as the bucket and region where the component should be published once the development is complete. The main.py is my main Python script. It uses the Greengrass Core IPC or Interprocess Communication Library to publish to IoT Core. This allows for the connection to be handled and authenticated from the Greengrass runtime. In the script, the message telemetry data with the timestamp is published via the IPC client to the topic my slash IoT slash the IoT thing name of the Greengrass device slash telemetry slash Python. The Greengrass core software sets environment variables when it runs lifecycle scripts for components. And this script uses the AWS IoT thing name variable to get the name of the IoT thing. Then the publish process is repeated every 5 seconds. A component in general consists of two elements. First, the artifacts, in this case the main Python script and the recipe. A recipe defines a component's details, like dependencies, artifacts, and life cycles. To allow for the component to publish to IT Core, I need to set the correct policies in the access control section. In this case, for the AWS Greengrass IPC MQTT proxy, I need to set operations to publish to IT Core and resources to star. This means the component is allowed to publish to all topics. In the lifecycle install section, the required packages are installed. DebugPy for the remote debugger and AWS IoT SDK for the Greengrass Core IPC. To allow for remote debugging, I added the minus "-m debugPy, defined the host and port, and added the minus minus wait for client flag. This flag tells the program to start only once a debugging client is detected. If the wait for client flag is removed, the component starts right after deployment. For production, therefore, I recommend removing the wait for client flag and possibly removing the remote debug pi option. Now the component is ready to be built and I use the gdk component build command. As you saw, this created two new directories. First, the zip minus build containing the zip files and all related files, and the greengrass minus build containing the subdirectories of the artifacts and recipes of this component. Next, it's time to deploy the component locally. For this, I use the greengrass CLI deployment create command. I point the recipe directory to the previously one created in the greengrass minus build folder, and the same applies to the artifacts folder as well as I define the component name and version which I want to deploy. So while the component deploys, I'll show you the configuration for Visual Studio Code 
to attach to the green grass component. It should look very similar for other IDEs. I set the request type to attach and define the connection details. In here, I set the host and port, which I previously configured in the recipe file. For path mappings, I set local root to the current workspace folder and the remote root should point to the directory where Greengrass executes that script. In my case, it's Greengrass version 2 packages unarchived followed by the component name and version. Now the deployment should be done and we can set our breakpoint. For this, I go into the Python script and set the breakpoint right before the messages are actually being published to AWS IoT Core. Now I can go ahead and start my debugger. Now once the debugger is attached, I now have access to all variables and know what's going on at that exact moment of my script. I can remove the breakpoint and continue the script. In the debug console, I now see that messages are being published to IoT Core every 5 seconds. When I switch to the AWS IoT console, I can use the MQTT test client to subscribe to the topic. As you see here, I am subscribed to my slash IoT slash plus slash telemetry slash Python and in here I can see the incoming messages every 5 seconds. So to summarize, in this video I showed you how to build and deploy a Python component locally and how to set up a remote debugger to debug your custom green grass component. That's it from me and I hope you enjoyed this video.